Good morning everybody, my name is Eric Bell. We're in Ngunnawal country and I'm one of the elders of the Ngunnawal people. Hollywood was the name of it and it's been known ever since. I remember it being called Hollywood when I was a little boy, when I was six when I first went to school there. It was called Hollywood and um, the name hasn't changed. Some of the older Aboriginal people now, if you went to one of the towns like Cowra or some of them places and they, they said, where did you live in? Yes, she said, I lived in Hollywood. They knew straight away where it was, knew all about it. You know, it's a famous name <laughs> for some reason or other, I don't know. Not because we were there, maybe because it was, cause it was called Hollywood. I'm not sure, but uh, it was a good place to live. Quite a lot of houses. Most of them were all those uh, ripple line red houses. There was two weatherboard houses. I have no idea what that was all or what it was all about, but they were there. And there was a couple of Aboriginal families that lived in there. But uh, when they left, they were pulled down by the mob that lived there. They used it for firewood or they used it for building onto those houses they were already living in because there was no rooms, there were only two rooms. So it had a big veranda, so most of the Aboriginal people would pull something down and use that to build more rooms onto the houses. Later on in the, in the uh, mid-50s, or a bit later in the 50s, they built a tank up there. And we go up there to get water. You stand there with a bucket, and you turn the tap on, you just have to, have to wait for, like a, an hour, to wait for the bucket to fill, and then carry it back down to your house. And we live right at the end of the, end of the mission. In the summer months, everybody came down here to the river to do their washing. They'd walk all down here, the kids would cart all the stuff for them. We'd go down there and we'd get wood and stuff to make a fire so they could boil stuff. And uh, they'd fish. Uh, the men would fish down the further. Uh, the women would do their washing, hang it out on briar bushes and other bushes that was around there. And in the evening, when it was all done and dusted, they'd uh, fold them all up, put them in, the, in their uh, in their galvanised buckets and, 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 and uh, wash tubs and we'd carry them home. Uh, that, was, that was it, I think they were done nearly every Sunday. That was, that was washing day, you know, and swimming day for us kids and fishing day for the men. But I'm glad that I grew up there, at least I know about it. At least I get a chance to tell the story about it, what it was like. Uh, my family lived there, mum and dad, uh, my uncles and aunties and cousins, a lot of us lived there. And there's not many of us left now that live there. It's uh, starting to dwindle away.